Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Eddie Marcus here early this morning. You know, I was thinking, and I want to share my thoughts with you. We look at our society, and we find some despicable things everywhere. It is in every organization. It is in every race. It is in every gender. Things that are absolutely despicable. And these things should be fixed. But how can we fix them when we don't know what fixing is? I think about what we say oftentimes about our children. Sometimes we call our children just out of the swag. Some people you call the kids the money. They're so crazy. But whatever our kids are, they are what we have created. As we are what our parents have created and their parents have created. And we have all been had. We have all been used by an invisible power, a spirit that is deceiving many individuals to walk away from the path of life. Simple things like not long ago, trying to speak of something that's memorable, there was a president that sent jobs from this country overseas, some agreement that they worked out with some other powers. And that left people here vulnerable. And yet there were other in power who played a major role in bringing drugs into this society and passed laws that would make possessing these drugs prison times uh, or more or even the things that they used to do as far as this killing all of it was a setup for making money whether it was selling the drugs or whether using the penal system or whether just killing each other and making sure that funds are used to pretend like there is something that is being done in in fact, many times you brought in police in the country today where things are going bad. The answer at every situation is more police, police on the street. They were for a moment talking about defunding the police, thinking that they have served no purpose except making things worse. But when things were removed from the police, no, no major changes made. So the things that causes this ugliness to occur was in effect. And now people are saying, more police. The answer is justice. Nobody wants to speak about justice. And even though we want to point our fingers at everybody else, I would like to remind us that every last one of us are guilty. You see, we individually have a responsibility to truth and love. We do. We were made out of that stuff. And collectively, we have a responsibility. As an individual, we become an example to anything or anyone around us who are not familiar. And we don't know that much. We just know a little bit. And as we exercise that little bit, we learn more and more and more and more. And we must always keep our hearts and minds open to receive more and not think that we got it all and we know it all. No. And as we practice it, practice it, we'll see the effect on people. It would be receptive by many and others it would be rejected. It would cause you comfort and cause you pain. But it's God. And I want to say God because it's not what we have been trained to believe. Sometimes we say just believe. Well, something got to happen out of that. But here's the truth of it, ladies and gentlemen. We at this time, all these times that we've been living in hell, all of these people before us, we've been living in hell. And people are saying that we're living now in the last days. And people are talking about hell and heaven and all that kind of stuff. And they got their reasons for talking about that. And that's okay with me. But what I talk about is the stuff that's in me. And I don't uh, offer any, I don't apologize for it because it's sweet to me. 
and I can see it being directly from a God. And why would I say a God? I say because it, it's for everyone. What I mean by for, I mean the peace and the prosperity and the freedom and the joy and the happiness and the, and the dreams being lived. It's not just for me because I see it, but it's for everyone on earth. And not only that, my friends, I see that preparation has been made to make sure that that can be accomplished by resources being installed all everywhere, above the earth, on the earth, and in the earth. Some of it is seen, some of it is invisible. And it's there to be used to do anything that humans want to use it for. And humans are, are inspired to do their imagination about things and their desire for things and their want of things. And this being a situation where everybody, from the food, the clothing, the shelter, the education, the health care, transportation, anything that you might imagine, all of the people who want to benefit from it, benefits from it. But what makes it so fantastic, ladies and gentlemen, where nobody got a complaint, is that everybody participates in the creation of it. So everybody got a job. They choose a career, a job that they love, that they love doing best, where they can give their best. And now they are being purified as individuals <clears throat> doing their thing, being real. And the whole community is doing the same thing. And it's interconnected by the power that I call God, that it <clears throat> is essential in tying those ends together that creates all of the things that we can call our heavenliness. <clears throat> and that is the kind of justice that we fail to adhere to. Why? Because it means we have to care about people. It means we have to want and, and respect people, do for people, hurt for people. All those things that we've been trained not to do are the things that we would have to do. It is a reflection of our growth. It is what is needed. And when we say the, peop the, the, the drugs that came into the system and just shacked, waggedy shacked this whole nation. And I'm thinking today, the role that we all played in that, some by making money, others by being quiet, and all of the things that happened in the process. I don't have to identify them all. There are various things happened. You know what happened where you were, and you know that there are no changes made. In fact, everything is brought to the point where it's making things worse for all, for all of us. And uh, we can sit up and think that the end is going to come and all that. You can think what you want to think, but I'm saying what we can do, what we can do today, and it's not being done by politicians because politicians don't know what you want, and then they don't really care what you want because they're not working for you. They're working for people who got money, and we got to make sure that money doesn't stop life. We got to make sure that money doesn't stop your beauty. Money doesn't stop your growth. Money doesn't stop your development. In fact, we got to make sure that money doesn't stop anything you want to do, need to do, or desire to do. So I'll talk to you more about this at a later date. Right now, I'm going to go back to sleep, okay?